Hey, this message is for you runners, run walkers who are getting into it and have knee pain. Okay, so this is for you. If, if that's not you, go ahead and keep going. Uh, this message is not for you. So I, someone asked me, you know, I went for a six mile run yesterday and now I have knee pain. What can I do to recover? And so the simple answer is stretch, foam roll, get a massage, and do a hot Epsom salt bath. So that's the short answer to just answer their question. How do I recover? That's how you recover from a run. To prevent it in the first place, to prevent it from coming back, you have to look back at the previous month, maybe even six weeks, maybe even six months of training. It all depends on where you started at and how you've been progressing week by week. So this particular person said that she ran six miles um, the day before she asked this question. And like six miles, maybe that's, maybe that's a lot, maybe that's a little. We don't know with the information that she's already given us. So I asked her to look back and she said, well, the week before she did five miles. I said, okay, well, let's go back a whole month. Just let's look at a whole month. And she said she did three, four, five, and then six miles on her long run. And she's been doing two long runs a week. So there are two ways to improve this for future. So first, a long run, adding a mile to a long run is not the right thing to do right now. So if it works for you, it works for you, that's great. But for her, clearly it's not working. And I know that because she has pain. So if you have pain and you've been adding a long run to your, excuse me, you've been adding a mile to your long run every week, then adding a mile to your long run every week doesn't work for you. That's usually for seasoned runners. So somebody who is doing like more fun run type and I'd say 80%, 90%, I'd have to go back and do the math of my clients do the run Disney races. So those are considered like the fun run stuff. They're doing it for the runcation. They're doing it for the entertainment, seeing the different Disney characters, doing it so they have an excuse to go to Disney, those kinds of things. So they're less likely to be the seasoned runner type, the professional runner, if you will. So um, adding a mile to the long run doesn't work. And that's because it doesn't follow the 10% rule unless you're already over the 10 mile mark. So adding a mile to the long run only works if you're above 10 miles. So the 10% rule means don't add any more mileage or don't run any faster than 10% each week for your long run. And that's the way to decrease the risk of injury, continue to run without getting injured or flaring up the injury. So one mile is 10% of 10 miles. That's why this rule for adding one mile every week to the long run only works if you're above 10 miles. So if you're anything less than 10 miles, three miles, four miles, five miles, six miles, like this person was, then 10% of three miles is 0.3. So it should take you three miles, 3.3 miles, 3.6 miles, 3.9 miles, should take you a month to get to the four miles. And then once you're at four miles, four miles, 4.4 miles, 4.8 miles, and then 5.2 miles will be the next one. So it'll take you about three weeks to get to five miles if you want 5.0, four weeks, a whole month to get to 5.2 miles. That's why it's so important to look at the last four to six weeks of training. So if you have knee pain and you're training for a race, look at what you've been doing. If you've been following the 10% rule, that's awesome. If that's the case, go back and look at what your very first starting point was. Because if you started too high and are still following the 10% rule, your knee still may not like it. So you may have gone too far on that very first run. So following the 10% rule doesn't really work if you've gone too far from the beginning. 